Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this 2014 Dodge Durango in white. Now, this is the uh, SXT model. It has the projector headlights, fog lights, projector style as well. This one has the 3.6 liter Panastar V6. Does have a proximity key. Here's the key here, and I can um, unlock the doors by putting my hand behind the handle here. The doors unlock. I can relock it using this button. Check out those wheels. Really sharp. It's kind of in line with some other vehicles, but maybe the other side I can give you a better view from a distance. Now back here we have uh, the backup parking sensors as well as the backup rear camera. And at nighttime this whole thing lights up and it has like a, a glow to it in the back. Really cool looking. It does have dual exhaust. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the doors using the key fob. And just kind of show you back here what it looks like. You have the third row, of course. The Durangos have the third row. You got a power supply. You have a rechargeable LED flashlight. A pocket there. You have these tie downs. Little little ones and big ones. Now those aren't the anchors for the, the child seat. Those are actually in the back of the seat. Under here we've got a nice storage compartment that kind of keeps things out of sight and out of the way. These seats do fold down. Try to do this one handed. Just unlatch it and push it down. It folds down pretty much flat. And you can see you have cup holders and stuff like that for the rear, the third row passengers. And uh, the, the second row folds down as well in case you need more cargo space, but that's how that works. All right, let's get a little bit of distance here so you can see what it looks like. That white with the dark colored rims looks good to me. All right, so check, let's check out back here. This is the second row. You can see you got a bottle holder there, speaker. There's your back seats. This has the black interior. There's your cup holders and armrest. And use this switch here to fold down the seat like that. Once it's folded, you can take this red strap and lift up the seat. That way you can get access to the third row. And you can fold down this one or that one or both in order to get to the back. Now back here you've got some rear vents and you have vents all in the ceiling which is really handy for when you have a lot of people in the vehicle you have some rear climate controls as well. You have uh, heated side mirrors. Here's the inside of the driver's door. You've got a bottle holder window, door lock, and side mirror controls there, little tweeter speaker there, big speaker there, power seat as well as lumbar support. You have automatic headlights. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in. I've got the key in my pocket. So you don't actually have to take the key out of your pocket using this vehicle if you don't want to. I'm going to put my foot on the brake, push the button, starts up. Alright, I'm going to aim the, it's kind of a hot day, so I'm going to aim the, have the air conditioner on, but i got to try to avoid the air messing up the camera. Maybe if I turn the fan down a little bit, it'll help. Okay, so here's the steering wheel, and uh, has some nice thickness to it and a comfort feel. It's a leather wrapped with stitching on the inside. 
and on the back of the steering wheel you have paddle shifters you have some plus and negative there um, to upshift and downshift but right below them there's a volume button it's like a toggle switch so I can change the, the volume on the radio and on the left side I can scroll through the radio stations like that I'll go ahead and turn it back down right down and on the on the front of the steering wheel we have cruise control here now you have to make sure you push the turn it on it'll say cruise control ready and um, and there's your your cruise control buttons on this side you do have a a menu system here that corresponds with this here now right now it's set to a digital speedometer but I'm going to scroll use the left arrow button and go to the full size speedometer it kind of gives you an analog look to the speedometer so you got the digital and then you've got the analog and uh, so I'm going to kind of put it back to the digital and I'm going to scroll down and as you can see there's a there's a menu system there's like a it's a menu system to where you can have different categories I guess you could say so like right now I'm in the vehicle info category and the first off is showing the tire pressure I can go to the right and it starts showing me different numbers as far as temperatures and pressures and stuff mechanical stuff I can now it kind of starts over I can go scroll down and here's your fuel economy and you know right now it's kind of skewed because there's only has five miles on it as well in a lot of idling time and you have different trips here there's two and the trips also um, have a timer so that's pretty cool tells you what radio station you're at there's stored messages messages will be there and you can adjust the screen you can go in the screen setup and right here you have a digital thermometer and and a compass there you can change what's up there you can actually add the miles per gallon up there if you want stuff like that so now we're back to the speedometer kind of scrolls right back to that and I'm gonna go back to that so pretty neat screen there that menu system that's completely separate from the Uconnect 8.4 system that's over here but we'll get to that now right below those buttons those are the buttons I was using to adjust that menu right below that is your Bluetooth phone and your voice recognition so once you pair your phone you, to answer or make a call you just use this green button to, to hang up you push that button voice recognition uh, you push that in, in the state of command. Now, there's certain commands that the vehicle will, will listen out for, um, and also it depends on what screen you're on. So, like say, I can say tune to a certain station, or turn, you know, change the climate controls, things like that. And it's something you're going to play around with, and it has to get used to your voice. So, it's pretty pretty handy once you get get the hang of it. I'm going to turn the fan down a little bit more. All right, so here's the 8.4 UConnect system. And right now we're on the radio. Now you have satellite radio, FM and AM right here. You can tune manually. You can browse different um, stations, especially on satellite radio. There's so much stations and stuff to go through. So you can scroll through them like that. And you can close it out here or you can hit it back. You have your presets there at the top. Change your audio features here. Let me go back. Okay, so and then we go to media. Now the media is uh, external from the radio like USB, auxiliary, Bluetooth, and SD card. Now your Bluetooth is wireless but the auxiliary, USB, and SD card are here. Down there so they're easy to get to. And then you basically play as mp3 files through the system. Here's some controls. It does have an auto dim rear view mirror you can fold down the rear headdress I'll show you that this button right here I'm gonna push it I do already have one seat down back there but I'm just gonna push it and it'll drop the other one just so you can see out of the back window a little bit better it does have a backup camera and sensors and all that stuff but that just kinda helps out you do have heated seats as well as heated steering wheel heated seats there and there's some different settings there climate I'm going to that now the climate control buttons are down here as well as on the screen, most of them, so you can access it from both. I can I can sync both of them, or I can manually adjust 
the driver separate from the passenger. You do also have the rear climate and you can turn that on and off. So that's pretty handy. Now this is where you pair your phone and then once your phone is paired Bluetooth wise anyway you have your phone book, you have some favorites there at the top you can make calls, end calls, stuff like that. And also you can use the voice recognition to say call you know so and so and it'll call them and, and that way you you know while you're driving you keep your focus on the road and your hands on the wheel. The Uconnect apps which uh, some of the you have to register and there's lots of different apps that you can download and, and you can use the vehicle as a Wi-Fi hotspot and things like that. Um, some of them are use your mobile phone so you want to be uh, where it says via mobile you want to make sure that you know that it's going to use the data off your phone so um, if you like say if you use Pandora and you're listening to songs it's using your data off your phone so if you're charged for that you want to keep that in mind alright so those are the basics there on the um, Uconnect system it does have the clock at the top and you got your temperature and, and compass there too you can turn the screen off if it's distracting to it, so that's a good feature. There's a back button in case you want to go back. Your vo you still have the volume, you still tune the stations here, here's your fan control, you can also do that on, touch on the screen. There's your climate control, parking sensors, you can turn those off if you know you're going to get you're going to get close to something and you don't want to hear the beeping. Eco mode, that's to save you gas, you want to leave that on unless you really want to get aggressive driving. Trash control is automatically on, you can turn that off in case you want to do some aggress really aggressive spinning tires or something like that. You do have a 12 volt outlet here, and like I said there's your inputs for your radio. You have a storage pocket there. Now here's your shifter, and this is how you change the gears. I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse, just so we can see what it looks like the backup camera. And you kind of scroll like that, and that's how you change the gears. It's a little bit different, but this does have the 8-speed transmission. Saves you gas, and it's a smooth rider. There's your cup holders. You've got a little pocket here. Now here's your center armrest. This lifts up. It does have two stages. One is a like a shallow pocket that's padded and the other one is a a big pocket and you do have a 12 volt power supply in there as well and you have a little place to run some wires I like this metal accent that's pretty neat on this vehicle here is your glove compartment it is has a felt liner inside of here is your Uconnect voice recognition it has some tips on how to use it and what to say really handy and auto dim rear view mirror. Now your microphones are on top of the mirror there, so they're kind of out of the way of most um, wind and stuff like that. You do have 911 and assistance right there. Place to put your sunglasses is there. Floodlight, spotlight on both sides. You also have a mirror in the visors. No lights though. Alright, let's look underneath the hood. And there's your uh, 3.6 liter Pentastar right there. It is color coded. You do have yellow. Um, yellow is the, the items that you would check yourself. And you see there's plenty of room in there. Alrighty, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments or send me an email. Email address will be in the description. I'll see you next time.